everybody. Uh, if you're just if you're just joining us right now, we are honored to be joined by the great Ron Burgundy. In your opinion, and right. and and obviously keep in mind that when you answer, this is the answer. Do you know what I mean? Like when you, it, you I can't you, reel it back in. You can't reel no, it back I'm, in. I'm, you got to be okay careful where you point that thing because yep. when you say it, yeah. people listen. Right. What's the biggest story of 2019 to you? 2019. Hmm. Ron Burgundy being on the Stephen Colbert show. <laughs> no, 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 that was cheap. That I'll was, take it. That was cheap. No, uh, the biggest story of 2019, and uh, I will go on record as saying, is I think uh, the Bueller report, the Ferris Bueller report. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> look, no collusion, definitely obstruction. But the fact that you select a fictional movie character to investigate the president <laughs> is way beyond my pay grade. I, and I'm, I'm still curious, was it Matthew Broderick playing Ferris Bueller who conducted yeah. the investigation? Was it just someone who said his name was Ferris Bueller? We'll never know. But the Bueller report <laughs> will go down. Sure. As sure. one of the more famous documents in history. That and the death of Grumpy Cat probably are my two 2019 stories. That's sad. That was That's sad. That's sad. That was sad. Yeah. Did you ever interview Grumpy Cat? Did you ever any? I, could, I couldn't. I tried. Yeah. Couldn't, couldn't they land wouldn't an interview let me with the cat. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. of my dog, Baxter. Oh, how, Back, is, how is Baxter? Baxter is great. <laughs> you had to think about I that. Had to you think. had to think about that. Baxter is how old now, Ron? <laughs> Baxter is a real marvel of modern science and medicine. Baxter. We first saw it, Baxter, 1972, 73? Yeah. Uh, yes. 73? Yes. So that would be 47 yeah. years. <laughs> and how old was Baxter then when we and met he Baxter? Was 15 he then. Was... <laughs> so oh. 62, 62 years, years old. 62. Young. Thank you. Young. So in 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 human and years, in human, human years, years, times that by seven, it can't be done. Can't be can't be done. Four, yeah, yeah. Carry yeah. Four hundred thirty-four. I don't think so. No, I actually don't. Seven I don't times two, I four. I don't think so. So four. I don't know. So. Yeah. It doesn't matter. He's old. Yeah. He's what's old. the what's the um, if you don't mind me asking, because it's kind of a personal question. What's right. the most dangerous story that you ever covered? The most dangerous story I ever covered. Because you must have put, put yourself on the line. Was the Vietnam War. You covered the Vietnam War? Well, I did from behind my desk at the news studio. <laughs> yeah, no, I never. And why was that, da why was well, that, was that was dangerous da for well, you? Well, you, it, was, it, was it was just a dangerous time. And there were spies everywhere. A lot of spies. Spying I turned on... in a lot of Vietnamese spies to the FBI. <laughs> Later, I was told that's what is called racial profiling. And uh, <laughs> you're not supposed to do that. That's, 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 uh, that's frowned on. But, but it was I, a different time? That was a different time. Different time. Still not the right thing to do. Right. <laughs> but I admit my mistakes. Now, as, as, uh, as, as a journalist who is someone who knows that you have to, you know, you have to come back with the story. That's your job. You go out to the... It's, it, you're, right. You're a hunter. You're a, yeah, sure. You're a hunter. And, and, and sometimes you're, you're, you're being hunted. Right. And how so? Well, people don't like news people, for the most part. Right, because when you show up with the cameras, like, what yeah. did I do wrong? Right. Did you ever, and would you ever, sleep with a subject to get an interview? Well, <laughs> here's the thing. It is completely unethical. It is abuse of power. But yes, I did it. About, <laughs> about 15 times. Mm hmm uh, but, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes, he, I mean, look, Tom Brokaw, he slept with Margaret Thatcher <laughs> to get more info on the Falkland Islands War. Really? Yeah. Really? He didn't, he didn't, he didn't get a peep out of her. No. <laughs> really? So he slept with her he and slept didn't with get her and the didn't story. Get one piece of information about the Falkland Islands. Wow. He also said she was a Bengal tiger in the sack. <laughs> Sadly, we have to take another break. Uh, please don't go away. We'll be right back with more Mr. Ron Burgundy.